everyone. This is Nick Beasley reporting from the First Glance Film Festival in Philadelphia. I am here with Etienne Goldet, the uh, uh, director of Freaky Saturday Night Fever. Thank you for, for coming all the way out here for us, sir. Thank you for, thank you for having me here. Uh, so what, what, is the, uh, what was the premise of your movie? Well, it serves a purpose. The purpose is to say if you behave like a prick, you'll be punished by fate no matter what, because fate always wins. I like movies like that. I really do. Now, th this acts a little bit of a twist too, because it it, it kind of um, it has a bit of a Parisian feel, but also has you, you integrate Texas in there. Uh, what 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 was the, the the thought process behind that? The thought, yeah, the thought process is that uh, usually, I mean, say usually there are exceptions, but usually American people hate the French because they all behave like pricks and they're so arrogant. So I say, okay, let's deal with it, mm -hmm. and uh, let's show you a very arrogant way of behaving, very French, and what is the worst punishment imaginable for a Frenchman? I can't think of anything worse than being skicked over through space uh, to uh, a, a dust bowl in Texas. It could be the worst punishment for a Frenchman ever. So, uh, we, shot it, we shot some of it in France and then some of it in fake Texas, which was in fact the Mojave Desert outside uh, Los Angeles, mm -hmm. and, uh, but conversely, what could be the, 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 the worst punishment for a, a Texan? Mm -hmm. Well, being kicked over to France. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, you're, are you, you're from France yourself. I am. Uh, did, you have any, uh, did you have any issues with the language barrier between either yourself or your cast or anything like that? Working for me in America is pretty easy because I kind of, I'm very comfortable with the way uh, the American work, the Americans work, and it's very easy. But I wanted the, the French audience in my film being completely lost by the, the, the English that the people from Texas use. I mean, they have the special accent and the, a, a slightly different syntax. So I didn't want it to be mainstream English American. I, I wanted really them to be lost with badass American, uh, Texas American accents. <laughs> And, and that, that, that sounds hilarious. I really am looking forward to, to checking that out here at the, the First Glance Film Festival. I, that being said, what, what actually uh, pr um, prompted you to uh, apply to go to this festival in particular? Well, um, why First Glance? Why uh, Philadelphia? First, I've never been to, I've never been to Philadelphia. Mm -hmm. I definitely want to be uh, to check out the... the, the, the what is that? Uh, the setting of uh, Rocky Balboa. <laughs> that was my primary uh, drive <laughs> uh, to be here. And uh, secondly, uh, I had friends of mine who had been in first glance and told me selection is pretty okay, it's good, and your movie would fit in there, definitely. You know, there are so many great, uh, you know, the, you had the French New Wave out there in, in France, you know, everyone, so many people, the Tarantino, everyone, they always quote Godard and all those kind of people there. The, 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 my question is, is that, you know, is, is there anyone here in America as a, film, as a filmmaker that influences you? Definitely. Uh, Robert Zemeckis and Back to the Future. Mm -hmm. And uh, I could go very long, I like that. My influences are mostly mainstream cinema in America, very Hollywood stuff, like, and story-driven films. I'm totally the opposite of what you think uh, uh, French filmmakers are, because some are like that, the true, and some are not. I'm the, I'm in the, 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 the uh, I'm part of the, of those who are not <laughs> like that, and um, I, I want to appeal to mainstream audiences, mm -hmm. and that is why I could. Um, uh, I could give you a reference that everybody would knew, just not in America, but all around the world. Mm -hmm. That's my cinema. So, you, you know, we're, we're here at an independent film festival. You're obviously, your film is an independent film. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, what is the independent film world like? Uh, sometimes, you know, uh, you know, how us Americans are, we're very concerned about what happens here. Mm -hmm. We don't always know what's going on overseas. What's the independent film culture like over in France? It's all independent film. Because if you think that, if, I mean, non-independent means big studio, we don't have big studios, so it's all independent. It's all, some are story driven, but most of them are uh, thought, uh, pulled off and directed by directors. They do all the work from writing, sometimes to editing, and uh, they, they, they go the, the whole nine yards al alone. And uh, it's all independent. It, it makes several style of 
uh, of films and filmings. Mm -hmm. uh, it could be very story driven, very mainstream, or it could be very experimental. You can have everything, but it's all independent. Now, as far as uh, getting a movie distributed out in uh, Europe, um, or specifically in France, um, is it easy for you to take your work and, and bring it to something more than just a film festival, to get it in, in, on television or anything like that? Um, my uh, main argument, I mean, my main, if I can get something out of my movie, if I get uh, an award, and then I will have an opening by, uh, by uh, um, a TV executive, because we have short, uh, short film uh, channels in Europe. Oh, okay. they, uh, they do that all day long. But first, you must get, have an award, uh, award to, to, to interrupt them. So please give me an award. <laughs> please. <laughs> I, I'll see what I can do. Now, hey, you know, I, I, as far as bringing American films overseas, uh, do you see a lot of our films, uh, independent films, do you see a lot of our independent films over there? And I don't mean like independent, like 500 Days of Summer and Twilight. That Those aren't really what I would consider no, independent. Not. I mean like a real, like a movie that costs like $5,000 to make. I mean, do you see, uh, is, there, is there a market for films like that overseas? They are big in Europe. I mean... Each time there is a good independent film like uh, Little Miss Sunshine, mm -hmm. and uh, it's big in Europe and it's big in France. I mean, and when I was in America, I saw how oh, I, 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 I wonder how come they have so many independent films and we are not even aware of that in Europe. We've got like 10% of your independent films, and they all do kind of good. I mean, they, they, they all do. Uh, they, they have a public in Europe, but there are so many more we we uh, we, we could see. Not all of, the, of them are good. But uh, we are aware that there is independent, American independent films, and we don't get enough of them anyway. Well, I, I want to thank you for coming out to the festival. I, want, I hope you really enjoy your time here in, in Philadelphia. And I really want to say good luck with your movie, uh, Freaky Saturday Night Fever. And uh, thank you so much for just sitting and talking with us for a moment. Yeah, thank you for having me. Thank you, sir. <laughs>